Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a quick video which will hopefully help you guys out with SLI trying to run Battlefield 4 without that horrible, horrible flickering. And um, First off, I'm just going to show you what I mean. So if we pull up NVIDIA control panel, you can see that I've got SLI turned on. And when we go over to the test range, just to save a bit of time, we click on play now. This should boot up the test range, and what we should find is some awful flickering on the, the, the overall map. And this is, I don't know what this is caused by, but I believe that I found a temporary fix for it. And the reason why I'm saying it's a temporary fix is because there are still a few little issues <laughs> continuing um, throughout this fix, such as a lot of the textures seem to be not spawning, well, not, not displaying until you're within a certain radius, which can be a little bit of a problem. So, as you can see, we're getting a bit of flickering on this minimap. We're going to wait for this little bird. Click little bird. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting quite a bit of flickering throughout the map, and the textures are very, very flat. Um, if we just have a quick look at... Game time, zero, so we can have maximum FPS, and then we will do a draw FPS one. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting about 143, 140. This is on borderless window mode, which does impact performance a fair bit. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I think that demonstrates this point. So we'll turn this off, and then what we're going to do is going to basically fix that flickering and I'm going to also show you a way of fixing the flickering plus the texture problem but you will lose quite a bit of FPS doing it this way. It'll still be more than a single card like turning off SLI completely but you still lose most of the extra performance through SLI. So what we're going to do is open a new window, go to Google and we go to NVIDIA. Well we search for N NVIDIA Inspector It'll be the first one that you find. I can't spell. Oh, on Guru 3D. Guru, yeah, Guru 3D. Click on Mirror 1. This will download really quickly. It just takes a few seconds. Boom. As you can see, I've done this a few times already. Double click, extract all. Extract. Open it up, and then you'll get welcomed by this little screen telling you what graphics card you've got and how everything's running. Click on this little, uh, what is it, tool icon here. We'll pull up this, which looks quite complicated, but we're just going to click on here and search for Battlefield 4. So, and we can see Battlefield 4 here. And now this is the one thing that we're going to be changing to actually stop the flickering. As you can see, SLI compatibility bits. DX1X is set to Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Medal of Honor, Warfighter. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to change this to actually, you, it, it's kind of crazy to think this, but we're going to change it to Far Cry 3. I have tried most of these. I've, I've tweaked with loads of settings, and um, Far Cry just seemed like the closest match, even though it's a totally different engine and all that. I just thought I'd potluck it, and guess what? It worked. So click apply. Okay, so now when we boot the game this time, which will take a couple of seconds, we'll notice that the flickering is completely gone. We're going to get a little bit more FPS performance, but we're still going to have the texture problem and the small objects problem, which means that they're not going to render. Technically, this makes the game look ugly, but, I mean, don't want to sound like a Captain Douchebag here. It does give you a bit of an advantage in game because you've not got all the foliage and the little objects blocking your vision, which... I, I, I'm pointing this out for the simple reason that DICE should be more after fixing this bug as soon as possible because it's giving us guys an advantage. A massive advantage. Should we click? Little bird. Boom. We'll get the... Set that to no limit and... Draw FPS 1. As you can see, the FPS is around the same. But... uh it feels a little bit smoother. It feels a little bit juddery now. It might look a bit juddery on video because of the borderless window mode. And I've got recording desktop. So I'm not actually supposed to be doing it like this. But, but, but it's working fine for the demonstration. As you can see, the textures are no longer flickering. And if we jump out... Why this is important to show is... 
While you're actually on the ground and running around, it doesn't actually look that bad. So, uh... As you can see, although far from perfect, it doesn't look too bad. Like I said, the choppiness is due to me recording the desktop, and this is in borderless window. Not because the game's actually juddery. It runs perfectly fine when I've got it in full screen. So as you can see, when you're actually playing the game, it doesn't look that different. But we are going to... Can we actually redeploy somewhere closer? Um, let's go to A. So as you can see, there's no grass. All the textures are flat, but it does give you the advantage because what you'll see in a minute when I show you how to do it well, um, getting while well, keeping the textures going, you do lose a lot of FPS in doing so. So as you can see, with no grass textures, you have got a massive advantage in game. Quit this, boom. Okay, so you're not happy with the fact that you need to uh, lose your textures because you're more into your graphics than you are into the performance, which is fine. I've got no issue with that at all. And what we're going to do is come back here. We're going to leave this as it is because this seems to make absolutely no difference apart from fixing the flickering. And you can leave this on Battlefield 4 even if you're going to do this next step. But in this next step, what we do is we go down to the uh, SLI rendering mode and we turn it to SFR. Apply. And now... When we boot it, we're going to lose a lot of FPS. Like I said as well, recording on the desktop means that we are actually losing more FPS in game than what we normally would do. But it's just a demonstration so you can see the amount of FPS you're going to lose. But you will also see that it is a lot better than it would be if you were still using a single card. So you do, well, I say a lot better. You get about a 10% boost in your FPS or maybe 10, 15% boost over running a single card. The advantage with doing this though is that if you play multiple games, you don't have to worry about going back and forth, disabling and re-enabling SLI every single time that you try it because that can be a pain. What's happened here? Okay, maybe this because it's in borderless windowed. Actually, I, I think this is because it's in borderless windows, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart this in full screen and show you it working. So. I've just figured this out now because I haven't been doing the test in borderless window, but it seems like we can't have SFR set on borderless window. You'd have to play it full screen, but I'll show you in full screen so you'll see how it works. Um, back in a sec. Okay, guys, we are back, and as you can see, we have got it on full graphical fidelity again. Let me just bring up the game time FPS. That's a zero, and then draw the FPS. Oops, don't want 11. And there, the FPS is a little bit lower. Um, it, it, well, a lot lower than what it was, but that's a mixture between the SLI plus the fact that none of this stuff was rendered at all. Which gives you a significant boost. And this is what I said, like, if you compare this to the previous clip, just how much more is blocking your vision, this gives you quite a big advantage. What we're going to do is redeploy really quickly, just before the end of the video, and go into a little bird. Fly high. This is where you'll see the biggest FPS difference. It's it's still higher than it would be if you're just running on a single card altogether. But this is using the SFR, is it? And there you go. You're back to normal performance. And as I mentioned, you don't have to keep flipping back and forth between SLI modes whenever you are changing game. Because not all of us only play Battlefield. Whoops. Well, there you have it guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness. And to like this video. If you like this video. And, no, oh, I forgot you can't jump and shoot. Dang it! See you later guys. Bye bye.